Tonight, the countdown is on for another historic first on the Space Coast. A crew of all private astronauts now getting ready to launch to the International Space Station. Good evening to you. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Right now, the final preps are underway. Michael Lopez, Alegria, Larry Connor, Aiton Stibby, and Mark Pathy are all asleep right now and will be woken up in about three hours at 2.30 a.m. That begins about a nine-hour countdown and prep period, followed by suit donnings, check Outs, weather briefings and a propellant load all in time for the final countdown on the pad. 1117 is when that Falcon 9 is supposed to take off tomorrow. Tonight we have live team coverage leading up to the launch. News 6's Troy Campbell is out at the Cape with the latest on the mission and the excitement building on the Space Coast. Meteorologist Samara Kokinos also pinpointing what the weather's going to be like at launch time. We're going to start with News 6's Troy Campbell in Brevard County tonight. Yeah, some exciting stuff. Now, during the expected liftoff tomorrow morning, all eyes will be up on the sky here at Space View Park. Tonight, we checked in with some people who were visiting the area for the launch about the anticipation of witnessing it in person. So this, this will be like the grand finale for spring break. Paul Jaffe says he brought his family from Virginia to the Space Coast to witness the first private space flight to the International Space Station. We are scoping out where we can watch tomorrow's launch with an opportunity to see the pad and also hopefully hear the sound pretty well. So I have, I have a payload on the space station now. And Jaffe says, as a space engineer in Washington, D.C., both of his son's initials are written on the payload he helped launch. Yeah, the first private flight to the space station, right? So this is like another historic first for commercial space flight. The launch is scheduled for 1117 Friday morning. It will mark the first time a privately crewed mission will dock at the ISS. Axiom's crew will launch inside the same SpaceX Dragon capsule that transported NASA astronauts in a previous flight to the ISS. During the eight-day trip, the four-person crew is scheduled to conduct several experiments while in orbit. The space station team is really excited for this first-of-its-kind mission. And it is believed that each of the three people who are paying to be on board forked over north of $50 million each. Also, the Space Coast Off Office of Tourism says the economic impact of the launch could reach into the millions. Live in Brevard County tonight, Troy Campbell getting results News 6. It will be fascinating and hopefully smooth. ClickOrlando.com will cover the launch from every angle. You can choose any of 12 live streams of that launch or click between them all. Go to ClickOrlando.com slash SpaceView. You can also watch the launch live right here on News 6 at 1117 a.m.